Welcome to the 21st MATLAB Arduino tutorial. This video will cover how to visualize gyroscope data in MATLAB. We will be using the same STL3G4200D as shown in video tutorial 20, a 3-axis digital output gyroscope. Here is the visualization we will be creating. There are checkboxes to enable and disable the visualization for each axis. There are text boxes that display the numeric angle for each axis. And a reset button which will reset the display angles to zero. We will start with setting up the serial port, then calibrating the gyro, reading the gyroscope data from the Arduino, visualizing the data, and then closing the serial port. During calibration, the gyro has to be oriented in different directions on the servo. For X, Y, and Z, these are the orientations the gyro has to be at. We are using the same setup serial, close serial, read gyro, calibrate gyro, and get angles functions from video tutorial 20. In the main file, gyrovis.m, run setup serial with a COM port specified. And now we are going to create the figure. If the figure does not exist, create one and store the handle in figure handle. If the stop button does not exist, create a toggle button with a text stop and close serial port. For each axis, if the checkbox for that axis does not already exist, create a checkbox to turn on and off the visualization for that axis. For each axis, if the text box does not already exist, create a text box. If the reset radio button does not already exist, create a radio button. After these commands are run, this is the figure that is created. Now we are going to set up the graph, set the axis limits, make the 3D graph, turn off the axis markers and set the aspect ratio to 1 to 1, create a cylinder with radius 0.5, create a cone using the cylinder command specifying that the radius at the top of the cone will be 0 and the bottom will be 1. Create the HG transform array containing the two objects and shift the cone up one so that it is on top of the base. Create the HG transform object and add the HG transform object to the graph. Here is the 3D object that was created. Run calibrate gyro with the serial connection. Create variables to hold the display angles and variables to store the actual angles of the gyroscope. While the stop button has not been pushed, get the new angles of the gyroscope, and for each axis, get the change in angle from the previous iteration of the loop. Add the change in angle to the display angle, save the actual angle, and update the text in the figure for the axis. Here we can see the same thing for the Y and the Z axis. Run a make HGT form with the inputs of the angle and radians for each axis. Set the HG transform to the graph. If the reset button has been pushed, set the display angles to zero and reset the button. After the loop has been broken, run close serial. Let's watch this in action starting with calibration.
Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.